Hello everyone! In the last episode of Cinders, we had a lovely date with the captain of the guard, Oh, Pearl. it was a date, was it? Pretty much, I'd say. <laughs> Our first date with the captain. And, uh, well, as you can see, we have no other choice but to head back to the residence. And I'm sure everyone's going to be pleased to see us, because we didn't stay up late at all, did we? Back to the same old. This feels almost like coming back to prison and out of my own will. After two such wonderful days of freedom, it's depressing to know I need to go back to my ordinary life. There, out in the real world, I can meet amazing people, have actual friends. Here, I'm trapped between Carmosa's plots and her poor daughter's bitterness. Sometimes I wonder, what if I were to vanish in the woods? Would anyone notice or care? Maybe that's the answer. Getting lost in the wilderness, befriending an uncivilized but noble tribe of rather short miners, becoming their princess. <laughs> uh, I think that might be hmm. someone else's story, to that's be quite honest, Cinders. Sorry to ruin it for you. <laughs> and spending the rest of my days being adored, praised, and... But to be fair, you also have other things going for you at this time. Come on. That's true. Oh, get a grip on yourself, Cinders. You know, I just realized that she was, like, yeah. fawning over shoes and... And shoes are her thing. Shoes are her thing. I just realized. That's very true. I am slow. Okay. <laughs> At least I learned some really interesting things today. Interesting and possibly dangerous for Kermosa. Maybe it's going to be my wild card in this game. Could be. Sometimes I wonder if all families are like mine. Broken, conflicted, and utterly unpleasant. Or is it just a nobility thing? My, my feet are begging for mercy. I must have walked a dozen miles today. Need new shoes. <laughs> Those Damn are it. really good shoes I saw at the market, and pretty, too. I sure could use new shoes like that. Oh, we'll get you shoes, Cinders. We'll get you shoes, all right. These old horrors are just a few steps away from falling apart, and they blister my heels and ankles. Oh, no. Still, it was worth the effort. The good captain, bless his honorable heart, seems genuinely interested in my humble person. Well, he's interested in something, all right. In her humble person. I, I think he is interested in her as a person as well. I think so, too. It's not just for the hotness or whatever. No. And he seems like an interesting gentleman, too. Looks really dashing in all those belts. Oh, oh my gosh! The belts. She called him yes. out of the belts! Everyone knows about the belts now. <laughs> Besides, I always fancied scars and brooding dispositions in a disposition in a man. All right. Me, too. Scars. Really? <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm just saying. Scar from The Lion King? I loved him. He was the best character in that movie. Mm -hmm. Everyone else was a dick. <laughs> Everyone else was a douche. Yes, it's much. true. I hated Simba. Oh, the prince. Oh, I forgot about the prince. I don't know any of my other voices, just yeah. so you know. I don't think I had voices for them. I'm pretty inconsistent with voices when it comes to this. I was I was consistent. You've summoned me by prince? That I did. You came back a bit late tonight. He looks like a lizard. Was there any trouble in your route? Not at all, my prince. Something has caught my attention. Someone. You must be wondering why I wanted to see you at this hour. Surely you have guessed it. Must be something important. I will have to ask you to make an important decision, and I will not be expecting you to give me your answer right away. Uh-oh. My lord? Let me explain, Pearl. As you know, we live in a time of transition and my father's death changed many things. I now want to take over the world. I know. <laughs> uh, hopefully it doesn't go that way. Being so close to our family, you're aware that the old king spent most of his days trying to compromise between two extremes, a balance between order and freedom. With little success, despite his best wishes, all his life he remained an autocrat. That is why it has been my wish, my vision, to change the kingdom in such a way as to eliminate the need to compromise between freedom and order altogether. Um, what? this can go either very good or very poorly. <laughs> We're going to have no freedom or order. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be completely under my order. In other words, Pearl, I want reforms, but I am sure you know this. I do, my prince. I have known you long enough to be able to learn about the qualities of your character. I want to give the people a constitution, Pearl. <gasps> I don't want them to be subjects. I want them to be citizens. That is amazing. Wow. What an awesome prince. I see. This will not make you more popular amongst the nobles, sire. If that's even possible. You're not a king yet, my lord. And there's someone rest among the nobles. I wouldn't announce your plans just yet. 
they make you an easy target. Yes, they do. That's exactly why I need your protection. You already have it. You know I'd give my life serving the crown. I'm your sword and shield, my lord. Yes, yes, my friend, I know that. But these are different kinds of enemies. I'm going to face during my reign. I'll be giving people more freedom, but that means taking away some of that old precious order. The nobles won't stand for it. They will want my head. Hmm. They wouldn't dare. Of course not. That would give me a reason to ask for their heads. They will not do anything openly. Do you understand now what I speak of, Parole? So you want me to spy for you? It is the new battlefield, Captain. The theater of war of our times. And the crown needs you to be our champion. Champion? But it isn't an honorable war. It's a war of lies. It is a war of discretion and intelligence. Qualities I know you possess in abundance. Not to mention loyalty. Forgive me, my lord. I don't want to come across as naive. I am simply not accustomed to all the subtleties of ruling. I'm surprised. What would you require me in this new service? You would have to spend more time at the court. That much is certain. Keep your eyes and ears open. And of course, socialize much more. Sounds like you would love doing that. <laughs> you would have to trade those blades of yours for our exquisite white gold cutlery, I'm afraid. And maybe, do something about this outfit. All those belts. Ah, ha, ha. Oh no. This His belts are precious to him. I... I see. This is not exactly... This isn't... Uh, my belts. <laughs> you don't have to decide right away. Also, you do have a choice. I am not a tyrant after all. Should you choose to distance yourself from this lovely mess I am planning for the realm, you can leave your current service with honor and retire. Your patrolling duty is purely ceremonial nowadays, and the guards have their officers. As it is, your position at the court is a matter of empty traditionalism. Nothing more. So he's useless? Y you would send me away? To where? <laughs> what poor parole? Oh, I am certain there is some picturesque and lucrative strip of royal land left that I can make you a count of. How about Middle Hollow? Such a quaint little place. You deserve it. That simple... This is very surprising. It's strange. It's a very strange thing to learn that you are not needed. Rubbish, Peral. The crown needs you. I need you. This is precisely why I'm asking you to make your decision. This seems like a tricksy prince. If I'm to rule this realm, I have to learn to make difficult choices. And this is my first. I'm not ordering you to become the new royal master spy. I am giving you a choice. Not only because I know that you wouldn't make a good agent serving me against your own will, but also because you are my friend, Pearl. If that's the case, I reckon I'd prefer to be just a subject. It will be enough, Captain. Let's not say things we will regret later. That'll do, Pig. <laughs> Very well, my lord. Will this be all, my prince? Yes, Captain. Give my proposal some thought. I would have you answer within the next few days. Now go. Hmm. I don't hmm. like him. Oh, look who's here. Oh, I have no idea what their voices were. Eh, I don't know. She's just a bit bitchy, I think. Or do you need a special invitation to get out of bed? Get up! Get up! Uh, what time is it? Dawn already, and you need to get up right this instant. Yeah, I think that's pretty much the perfect voice for her, if it wasn't the one we had already. <laughs> Dawn is not a reason to yell at someone, and I'm not sure it's reason enough to get up so abruptly, either. I think she has enough reason to hate us. Two days without supervision, and you've gotten lazy already. Where would you be on your own, I wonder? Hmm. Oh yes, do come in and spill your venom on me. Oh, the possibilities. Is there any actual reason for me to wake up at this hour, or is this just a social call on your part? Fine, don't get out of bed and see how it works for you. What do I care? This way it'll be even more interesting. That doesn't sound good. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm awake now. Would you please tell me what's going on? Carmosa's back. She wants us to gather in the hall. I'm wide awake up now. You could have begun with that. Oh, this is just going to be perfect. 
Well, now you know. She brought a large package with her, and she looks like she means business, so hurry up. A large package? Maybe it's her duties. All the possibilities. She always looks like she means business. I wonder what's in the package, though. What shape was it? Did it... Oh, it's no time for questions. Oh, just stop being nosy and hurry up or we'll both be in trouble. If you were getting dressed instead of asking so many questions, you would already be seeing it for yourself. Damn. If you didn't stand there, yell at me, and stare, I would actually be in a position to get dressed. Fine, I'm leaving. Just hurry up. <laughs> what do you think it is? A puppy. I'm sure that's exactly what she got for the family. <laughs> I'm really sorry I got here as fast as... Wait, where's Carmosa? In her study. She said she didn't have time to wait for you forever, and you kept her waiting for quite some time. Sorry, I had to sleep in. We were out late. Oh no, we wouldn't want Carmosa's magnificent plan to be spoiled just because of Cinder's laziness, would we? <laughs> laziness. <laughs> you might rethink your attitude. Mother wants to speak to you. I can't imagine how that is going to be a pleasant experience, considering. She said she wants to speak to me? Why? Well, actually, she wants to speak to each of us. You're just supposed to go first. Oh. Great. When I finally get to be the first at something, it's something I don't want. It's like receiving gifts. Good in principle, yet always disappointing in reality. <laughs> what? Why would she want to speak to each of us? And why separately? I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, stop complaining, hmm. you two. And you should hurry up and go, Sophia, unless you feel the need to make Mother angrier, of course. Well, obviously it's going to have something to do with her plans about the <sighs> ball and masquerade. I'm going, I'm going. I certainly don't like this. Cremosa seems keen on interrogating us and getting every detail of what happened while she was gone. If you did what you were supposed to, you wouldn't need to be nervous right now. Just a thought. Oh, we always did what we were supposed to. Completely 100%. Of course, because everything is fair and honest around here, and I certainly won't get blamed for things I have no control over. I think you do enough on your own not to need any additional blame. Your constant rebelling should get most of Carmosa's attention. And how will Carmosa have an idea about who rebelled and what rebelling actually means, huh? You are not seriously suggesting that I would tell on you, are you? I'm trying so hard to do well here and take care of you, too. <laughs> And Sophia, she wouldn't just stab you in the back like that for no reason, would she now? No, she has no reputation for that at all. None well, that I can remember. I certainly do not feel as safe as you describe. Okay, so my sister might have an interesting idea of fun. Exactly, she is twisted as a corkscrew and might say anything for reasons that escape reason. I think you're much too fast to judge people. You know Sophia is not evil, and we sure as hell both know that living in this house can be hard, so... Sure, Sophia is a delicate little flower that means nobody no harm. She just defends herself when necessary. Sure, she's cynical at times, even vicious or cruel, and yes, speaking to her often resembles fencing. Thanks, that helps. But besides that, she's a lovely person to I be I know. Around. But here's my point. She only does that when it's safe. She wouldn't stab you in the back or do anything against you where it counts. Really? Just we'll because say. Sophia has uttered some sharp comments about morality doesn't yet mean she actually grasps the concept, not to mention agreeing with it. I had no idea you could be so resentful and full of hate. What gives you the right to judge Sophia when you yourself are so cruel to her? What has gotten into you? You hardly ever talk to Sophia, and when you do, one of you usually ends up in tears, and now you're defending her? I don't think I need to explain myself. I was just asking, but fine... Let's just wait for Sophia to come out and see what she has to say. Well, it's not like we have many alternatives. I hate waiting. Yeah, it's pretty much useless speculating right now. This shouldn't take long. Carmosa is not someone to beat around the bush. True. She's always to the point. No excuses, no diversions, no mercy. No mercy. <laughs> Let's just wait. And we wait, and we wait. Well, how'd it You're go? You're back! That was fast. Aren't you happy to see me? I'm fine. Sorry to disappoint you girls. So what was the talk about? You'll find out soon enough. It's your turn, and I wouldn't keep Mother waiting if I were you. Of course you have to go last. All right, I'm off. Wish me luck. You might need it, so good luck, sister. Good luck. So, are you properly nervous yet? You know the experience will not be a pleasant one. Do you always have to do this? After all this time, I'd be an idiot to fall for these games of yours. Precisely why I keep them up. Uh -huh. Just stop, please. I'm not going to indulge your weird need to quarrel and provoke someone until they offend or humiliate you. Except we're about to indulge in it right now. 
Oh yes, I forgot you know everything about me, and how wise of you not to indulge me in a conversation. I sure would like to see you try the same with Carmosa in a minute. And to think, Gloria defended and spoke well of you just a second ago. She almost got me to believe in you. You shouldn't always believe what you hear, and you should hope Carmosa doesn't always believe either, because Gloria should be speaking about you right now. I wonder what Gloria will tell. Aren't you worried? Oh, that was the other boy, sorry. I'm not sure. She <laughs> seemed alright when we talked, maybe a bit unsettled. I know my sister. She doesn't show emotion until Mother orders her to do it, but on the inside she was raging. I think she might spill some of that into Mother's ears. The hell with that! These past few days reminded me of what freedom felt like. It was worth whatever punishment Carmosa might throw at me. You've either lost your mind or forgotten what Mother is capable of. Nothing is worth what she'll come up with to make you regret your actions. We'll just have to wait and see, won't we? And more time passes. I like the time passing song. <laughs> You're back. How was it? It was spectacular. What do you mean? Well, was it, I don't know, unpleasant? Of course not. Why would it be? It was just a normal conversation. Normal for you, perhaps. Come on, Gloria. I can tell it wasn't that smooth. Well, obviously she's not going to say anything anyway. Stop being so nosy just and start asking it. proper questions. Did Carmosa tell you about her plans? In fact, she did. Oh. Oh, of course she did. She earned that special little place on her lap. Oh, you earned it. Whatever. <laughs> Sophia, please. Shush now, Cinders. So what do you think of Mother's latest great plot? You would think she had learned not to expect the impossible of us, or anything big, really. And maybe it's time to live up to her expectations? You are a grown-up now, Sophia. It's time for you to work on managing your responsibilities. You're hopeless and stupid. Some of us are simply not built for greatness. Oh, boy. Here we go. If only you focus on doing something useful half as often as you do on sharpening that vicious tongue. <laughs> Are these two ever going to stop going at it? I don't know. It's funny because they were just talking nicely about each other before, and now they're I back know. to eating each other. You must speak plainly. I'm too stupid to understand complex sentences. So what are Carmosa's plans exactly? Can we just go in and find for ourselves? I know, seriously. Oh, I'm sure she'll explain everything in a moment. Now hurry, don't keep her waiting. All right. You know how angry she gets when someone's late. Let's just go in and deal with it already. Oh yes, I feel like this is going to be quite an adventure. And I'm about to enter the beast's lair. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Well, there she is. You called me? Yes, I did. Come in and close the door. I'd like you to explain something to me. Uh oh, here we go. I have learned some very disturbing things about what has been happening here while I was gone. Apparently, you discovered a new pastime, wandering about like some commoner, visiting who knows whom, going who knows where. While my daughters take care of our home on my behalf, you are having long walks. This isn't simply <laughs> like improper, it's also beach. selfish and irresponsible. What can I do about it? I wasn't doing anything wrong, and frankly, it's a bit insulting to hear that my own sisters would speak of me that way. Sisters, we say. Nothing bad happened. I'm back, am I not? I just wanted some, well, freedom, that's all. Freedom? What nonsense! Hey, you better get used to the idea. No, girl. Freedom has nothing to do with this. This is selfishness, plain and simple. Well, maybe a bit of that as well. But and hey, why do you to need selfish. to make up? So <laughs> and why do you need to make up such absurd excuses? Why can't you, for once, admit that you acted irresponsibly? I thought you were gonna say why does she need that much makeup, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> why not say I am not the only person in the world, and perhaps add something like I'm sorry too. Believe me, that would be a nice touch. I'm sorry. Well, maybe my behavior is so imperfect because they don't have a good role model. <laughs> Enough! I have no time for childish quarrels with insolent brats. Oh, she's flashing at us. That's not I a good know. sign. We have an important matter to discuss. All right, let's get to it. It has to do with my plans for our family. Two days from now, a grand ball will be taking place in the royal palace. Yeah, we already heard the news. Any royal business is very important, of course, but this particular ball will be very important even for his royal highness. It means very careful preparations. The Royal Masquerade. I might have heard about it. Yeah. Oh, you have? This is very surprising indeed. Yeah, we have our ways. Is it? Recently I've learned that it isn't that difficult to obtain sensitive information. One simply has to pay attention to what is going on around them. Watch carefully who is meeting with whom. Especially when it comes to certain shady looking characters fetching rumors like a trained hound. Really? Well done then. Perhaps you are not as thick as I thought. Let's hope you'll forge this little success in collecting information into a permanent quality. A quality which I'm sure you'll find useful in life. Oh, so she kind of liked that a little bit, huh? 
Being well-informed surely beats being kept in the dark. Folks say that truth shines like light and ignorance is the darkest night. It's a fitting comparison. After all, night is the time of fear, vulnerability, and powerlessness. Okay, now you're getting a little bit too silly at the poetry. She's going to get annoyed at us. <laughs> I learned quite a few things these days. I feel much safer and more powerful already. What matters here is that the ball is very near and there's little time left. It means that I will be expecting our entire family, and I do mean all of us, to give their best. By which I mean complete obedience, no questions, no dramas, no nonsense. This is much too important an event to be spoiled in such a silly way. Very well, and what is my part in this plan, then? Will I be going to the ball as well, member of our family that I am? <laughs> what a silly joke. Don't be absurd. Royal affairs aren't your area. Arena, arena. even. Arena. <laughs> I see. Then what is my arena, ma'am? In the kitchen. Why the house, of course. If everything goes smoothly, the ball should mark the point of our family coming back into high society. You shall be mopping the floors. And that means one thing. Guests. Dusting every little nook and cranny. We will need combined effort to make the residence spotless, but your role in this will be crucial. I see, my lady. Would you also like me to hide in the wardrobe or pretend I'm a statue when the guests come? Oh, if you can. That'd be very nice. Or maybe being a statue would pose too much of a competition for your charming and intelligent daughters. <laughs> oh! I understand your anger and your reasons. Now you must understand mine. I put much time and effort in creating this opportunity for my daughters. I will not let them be upstaged by anyone. You may play all sanctimonious with me now, but either now or in ten years you'll understand my perspective. My perspective. And you will agree with my decision. Also, I don't see a single reason to yield to your complaints, if all I get from you is recklessness and childish moods. Start supporting the family, and maybe the family will do the same for you. You gotta support the family. <laughs> you like to refer to all of us as family, but only if it means I have to do something. Don't get melodramatic, girl. You sound like a bad novel. Even if I wanted to, I wouldn't be able to prepare these young ladies for a ball organized by the future king. Do you have any idea how much a decent dress costs these days? No, of course you don't. Hey, we were window shopping just a while ago. Of course, how could buying a dress for the daughter of the rightful owner and head of the house be proper? <laughs> listen to me, girl, and listen good. I am the rightful owner of this house. And as unfortunate as it may be, your father, bless his soul eternal, is dead. Wow, thanks for uh, reminding us. No mother would put an orphan before her own children. I am not just some orphan. And contrary to your real children, I am not afraid to think and speak for myself. You're truly blind if you really can't see my potential and how useful I could be. Also for you. Enough of this idle chatter. We have a very important task ahead of us and little time left. Since you're thinking so highly of yourself and your skills, why don't you show us your pragmatic side and start cleaning the house and helping with preparations? That's it? Do you really believe that is all I can be good at? Demons! Snap out of that constant daydreaming, girl, and start paying <laughs> Demons. attention. Demons! Do you think that even if you were the lady of this house, you wouldn't need to keep it clean? Are you really selfish enough to believe that? Well, when we have servants for that? Besides, the terrible burden of dusting and doing the dishes is minuscule in comparison with my responsibilities. Be grateful for having such a simple life. Oh yes, very great. Uh-oh. Shh, not a word. Get the girls together and call the servants. Wait for me in the hall. I will bring you your orders in a moment. I don't think she's very happy. Oh, what? Why are they down there? I think we're down on our knees cleaning. Oh. But uh, yeah, anyway. I guess we'll leave off there for now. And uh, we'll see exactly what we can do in the next episode. Unfortunately, looks like we're not going to be part of the uh, masquerade. Mm. But we do have info about that, which may come around to bite Carmosa in the butt. That's true. I don't really think we're going to be getting with the prince anyway. At mm -mm. least that's not my intent. No. So we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Until then, take care, everyone. Bye.